All right, everybody. How are we? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video and to the final instalment of the 10 greatest New Zealand All Blacks of all time. This one is a special one. I don't even want to pick up that paper because, uh, you know, it'll most likely make me cry. Um, John Olomu is a legend. Uh, this this DVD that I've picked up recently it's it's titled Legends of All Blacks Rugby and uh, that watching that was amazing for me and uh, you know as soon as I saw that as soon as I saw the the value of it I knew that I needed to make this series for my YouTube channel so what I've done is I've included a, a clip of me talking about this particular player what they meant to me with some of their stats that I've pulled from the internet. And after that, uh, I show you some video excerpts of, of their best plays, which I've got from this DVD. So look, before I say anything, uh, none of this footage I own the rights to, and I don't claim to. I'm just doing this because I love rugby, and uh, I want the whole world to know about these guys. These top 10 greatest New Zealand All Blacks of all time shaped me as a kid, shaped generations of kids in New Zealand uh, gave them someone to respect, gave them someone to look up to. These guys aren't just rugby players, these guys are heroes, these guys are, are legends, uh, you know. Jonah Lomu was born Jonah Tali Lomu in Auckland, New Zealand on the 12th of May 1975. Jonah Lomu died on the 18th of November 2015, aged just 40. Jonah Lomu was born in Auckland and died in Auckland, but he also played a, a significant role for uh, Wellington Rugby. In fact, that is the team that I would have to say I personally remember him playing for the most, which is interesting because at that point he'd already had his career hamp hampered by uh, this this kidney disease that that um, ended up taking his life tra tragically far far too early so you know just thinking about what kind of a player and how long he could have played at his highest potential without that illness is is just something we'll never know, but it's it's something uh, I often think about, and I still do. John Lomu was listed. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> just reading, reading these stats, man. Reading these stats, 196 centimeters, six foot five, 120 kgs, 265 pounds, six foot five, 265 pounds, and ran a hundred meter dash in less than 11 seconds, 10.5 seconds. This guy was, <laughs> he was something else, man. John Lomu played on the wing, the left wing. He came in at All Black number 941. <sighs> John Lomu played a total of 73 tests for New Zealand between 1994 and 2002. He finished his career with a total of 63 caps. Uh, and 37 tries. He's regarded as the first true global rugby superstar and burst onto the scene in the early 90s playing rugby sevens actually for Auckland and uh, Counties Manukau. From there he got uh, noticed, started playing the Provincial League for Auckland and um, very soon found him 
in the All Blacks team as the youngest ever uh, All Black named. John Olamu shares the Rugby World Cup all-time try scoring record of 15 tries which he accumulated in only two tournaments. God, I'm sorry man, I'm fucking sorry. This is crazy. This guy. This guy. This guy was my childhood man. He really was. That's him right there. Jonah Lomu, 6 foot 5. 120 kgs running at you with a 10 second 100 pace the sidestep of Bo Jackson in the NFL in fact come to think of it I believe Joan Alomu was actually offered a place as a running back for the Dallas Cowboys after the 1995 uh, Rugby World Cup which he just dominated and that goes to show the the, the world uh, had had taken notice. I don't want to go on too long. Look, I I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the footage that we've got from this DVD. It's um it's amazing. It really is. I I I've actually created uh, two or three tribute videos myself to this man on my channel, and you can find those on my channel. The the thing about those videos that that really annoyed me was the fact that I couldn't get access to good quality footage and um, which which meant that I, I couldn't really do do the man justice but uh, look John Lomi will always go down as as a legendary uh, all black legendary international rugby player and um, my favorite rugby player of all time no doubt So sit back, relax, and enjoy the great, the late great, Jonah Lomu. Rest in peace. Jonah Lomu was rugby's first global superstar. He announced himself to the world in the 1995 World Cup with some extraordinary performances, especially his devastating four tries against England. The English came into that game with high hopes, but Lomu's size, strength and pace very soon ended the game as a contest and completely demoralised the English. Lomu came from humble origins. He was raised in one of the poorer suburbs of Auckland and began by playing rugby league before switching to Union. His height and stature meant that initially he was thought of as a forward until he switched to the backs with extraordinary effect. Michael Jones. He's in under the sticks. He began his career in sevens, but became the youngest ever All Black, aged 19 years and 45 days, when he made his debut against France in 1994. He scored seven tries in the 1995 World Cup and added another eight in the 1999 tournament, making him the leading try scorer. Jonah's amazing physique and athleticism made him nigh on unstoppable in all forms of rugby, but in the space and freedom of sevens, he was virtually a one-man team. 
Good work by Seymour. Lamu, a hard man to stop. Look at the difference in the size, but uh, lots of courage there from Farid Abdul Rahman. And never has a picture told a better story than this one when Farid Abdul Rahman tries to tackle Jana Lamu. It'll come into picture now. And there's the story. <laughs> New Zealand v Malaysia. <laughs> But it's out to Jonah Lomo, we haven't seen him yet. And he's passed Chris Wyatt, just swatted him aside. And Gareth Cooper hasn't got a hope. Matthew Robinson is on the field for Wales, but his chase is in vain. It's the first we've seen of Lomo. Well, this is not news hot off the presses, is it, that John Lomo is big, fast and powerful. It always amazes me every time I see him run how someone of that size can be so light on his feet. But they still maintain possession, and they still got Jonah Lomu spare. Jonah Lomu showed it to Matthew Robinson, and that just flew outside him. That's the second for Lomu in the second half. Unfortunately for Lomu, ever since 1996, his career has been blighted by serious health issues. He was diagnosed with a debilitating kidney disorder, and although he continued to play at the highest level, illness continued to interrupt his career. Although he showed glimpses of his old power and pace at the 1999 World Cup, he never truly regained full fitness. But even a partially fit Lomu was still a formidable opponent. Sean Fitzpatrick, the captain, who tells his team before a lot of the test matches, never step back. And that's what they've done today. Love it! Only Lomu could get a try like that! There was still plenty of Frenchmen there, but he just went so straight, so hard, so much power, so much strength. He's two metres high. Lamu! Lamu is well and truly back! Lamu! Lamu again! This could be a big line-out for Anton Oliver and his troops. It's taken at the back by Norm Maxwell. Feet gathers round, now comes the drive. Ireland have to get their backs behind this to repel it, and they have done. Gary Longwell was at the forefront, but it's still all-black ball. Major, Lomu surely! Lomu from that distance is unstoppable. Nonetheless, Oh, that was a brilliant bit of work by Major. Tremendous running there by Howlett. And look at this. What a run this is by... In fact, it's the youngster, McCaw. And there, the Scots are back. Umanga throws it out, and Lomu goes sauntering home. Jonah Lomu for his 39th try for New Zealand. And he's got a long way to go, hasn't he, McCaw? But the supporters come in, and this is what they do. They don't panic. They get the ball. Play there, he hits the floor, a bit fortunate, Umanga, as he goes down, one-handed pass, and there's no one in front of him, and I, it wouldn't have mattered if there was anyone in front of him, they wouldn't have stopped him from there. In 2003, he was given a special merit award by the IRB for his outstanding contribution to the international game. Ali Williams is the target, and this time they've changed the focus of the the drive towards the tail of the line-out. Divine clears. Tano Umanga, the dummy runner, Keith Lowen. Howlett out to Jonah Lomu. Lomu powers through the final tier of defence. Great collective work by the All Blacks. It's had to go to floor, though. Or has it? Above ground, it's still a mall. It's still a driving mall. It's finally down on the ground. Now they hit the three-quarters. Robinson, Mertens, here's Jonah Lomu. Lamu, unstoppable! But when it came out, he starts off long looping run here. Still got a lot to do, look, he's got 15 yards. Bounce one, and you're not going to stop him by arm tackles there.